So I just returned from a 200 mile, very chilly ride in Greenville, North Carolina for an officer down memorial ride they do every year. And uh, you know, I was talking to some guys, I was kind of surprised to find out that there's a few people, they don't know how to um, turn off their cruise control other than tapping their brake. And uh, so I was telling them there's other ways to turn it off. And I said, you know what, let me do a quick video on it. So I'm gonna do that. So real quick, go over to the we all know we can grab our front brake, we can tap our rear brake, but what happens when we do all these things is, you know, initiates the, uh, the brake lights on your bike. So let's say you don't want to initiate the brake lights on the bike and you just want to stop your cruise control. There's three other ways you can do it. You can take your throttle, roll it forward. That'll turn it off. No, it won't turn it off. It'll stop it. You know, the only way to turn it off, of course, is hit the power button. That's one. The second way is if you pull your clutch, that'll also turn it off or stop your cruise control without, uh, you know, without starting your, or lighting up your, your brake light. And the third and final way, with, you know, so you don't activate the brake light, is you just hit the power button. Now let's say you're on a ride and it's a hot day, everybody stops and you're gonna stand on your bike and it's really hot. So you leave it in the run position. You want to kind of like cool off and, and then you turn that fan on. So after your bike, well, I'm going to put it in run. Hold on. All right. You take your accelerator and you pull it all the way back and then you hold it. And that'll turn on your fan. And that's a way that you can get some heat off of your legs if you're just sitting there waiting for everybody to come out of the store and you didn't go in. Just a couple little pointers. All right. Later, guys.